What's up YouTube? AK Aquatics here again. Just wanted to do another update on the 125. I think I'm just gonna do an updated stocking list on the tank again today. I haven't done one in quite a while and the guys have grown so much. Um, just give you a look at them all here. We'll start out with some of the bottom feeders this time. I just got the three clown loaches in here. You can see they like to hang out together pretty much all the time. And then I got the two Pictus catfish. These guys are probably five and a half inches. They're probably a year and a half old now. And we'll go over here to the left and just work our way over to the right. This is the big uh the red shoulder that I've had for quite a while. He's probably two, two and a half years old. And then the Malawi Thick Lips, he's probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest fish in the tank. He's approaching eight inches, definitely seven and a half. And then the William C. Blue Lips, this guy's probably two years old now. Maybe six and a half inches. Full color. Obvious dominant male. He's, he's pretty much the boss of the tank, although he doesn't really show it much. He's a pretty mellow guy. Every once in a while, he'll kind of shove everyone off the left side of the tank, but really good boss. We got the sunshine peacock down here. Somebody took a bite out of his dorsal fin recently, but he's doing really good. Great color and does really well for being in a tank full of haps, an aggressive species. Most sunshines are pretty mellow and end up losing their color when they're in a big community tank, but this guy's doing great. This is that uh, OB peacock that I got from my nephew he gave me. He was getting really beat up in his tank. This guy's probably four and a half inches. I'm not too sure how old he is, but he's actually blind, which I didn't even notice until I really observed him for quite a while here. You can just tell he stumbles around and he always just goes straight down to the bottom when the fish even react like they're gonna get fed. He goes down to the bottom and starts eating as if he thinks there's food being dropped in the tank. It's <laughs> After observing him for a while, you can you can definitely tell he's blind completely, which is pretty sad, but I mean, he's a real healthy fish, and he just kind of bounces around in the tank, you know, running into fish all the time and whatnot, but I see no point in putting him down or anything. He's real healthy and seems happy, so nice, awesome, amazing color. I'd like to get some fry off of him at some point, but anyway, that's him. Um, go over here to the Bucanada. This guy's looking really good. Seven plus inches, probably seven and a half. He's had a black mark on his dorsal fin for probably a year, which it's really been bugging me, but it's going away over the past week or so. I don't know if you check out my other videos you can see it plain as day on his back dorsal fin kind of in the middle there a really nice male full color he's got all the colors that Bucos have he's really good quality fish and here's the living stony he's probably six and a half to seven inches another fish I've had for a long time he's probably two years old now great color Pretty just mellow fish. She doesn't really fight much at all. But yeah, I really like him. He's got some amazing fins. Real long anal and dorsal fin on this guy. We'll move on to the Indui Fire Hat here. This guy's probably six inches. Him and the, here's the Red Empress down here, which they look almost exactly the same. They kind of scrap it out a bit. You can see the Red Empress has a bit of damage on his anal fan and the top of his dorsal is frayed, but they go through 
phases where it seems like they fight and then they stop. But here's the uh, tangerine tiger. This guy's really coming along. Getting a lot of size to him. He's pushed, he's definitely over six now. In the mornings, it seems his whole body is yellow and then it just slowly turns to being his shoulder throughout the day. But that guy's really an instigator, really likes to chase and cause fights. They don't really get into anything too, too serious, but they definitely do a lot of splashing and bashing around. But that's him. Here's a look at the Rhodesii down here. This is another species that gets very large. This guy's probably five and a half inches in length. And, uh,. Yeah, he's still kind of coloring up slowly. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, over here we got the Aristochromus Christiae. This guy's probably coming up on six. In the right lighting, you can see his entire gill plate's getting blue in it. I don't know if you can can't really see it there, but... Just another large species of fish that takes a long time to color up. Below him we got the Taiwan Reef, real nice specimen, fully colored male. He's probably five and a half inches long. He's really had a lot of fin growth and coloration. Brighter red in the anal fin and then just displays and fin is just getting a lot longer. Here's a look at the uh, Redfin Borlei. This guy is one of the stars of the tank. He's just a really great specimen. He's perfect finish and coloration. It's, I really like this guy. He's well over six inches.